So I've noticed that lots of people don't know how to act around someone who is sick or disabled. So here are a few tips from someone personally dealing with cystic fibrosis on how to behave around a sickling. This is my personal opinion, and you gotta think, I'm coming from living with CF. I've never lived with any other illness. And I know that for a lot of other disabilities, it is very different. So one of the biggest things is people are terrified to ask what's wrong with you. Like this isn't, this is, shouldn't even be this big of a deal, but like every time they're like, um, so do you mind if I, if I, if I ask what's, um, why you have, why you, why you have this? I'm like, oh my God. It's okay to be like, so what's wrong with you? I'm not gonna, I'm not, don't worry. We're not, we know that there is something wrong with us. Like, I feel like a lot of people think that we don't realize that we're different. Like, if we don't wanna talk about it, we'll say like, oh, it, like, no, it's still kind of like personal. Don't step on my oxygen with stiletto high heels. Anything else is fine. This thing is strong, but stilettos. Mm -mm. Just be conscious of it. Like notice that it's there. Don't like clear the room, but don't like be clicking on it with the heels. Just be aware and don't trip over it all the time. This hurts. This, this, ready, ready? That hurts like a bitch. Please do not subject me to that if you can help it. This seems like total common sense, but if you're around someone who's on oxygen or in a wheelchair, because if they're in a wheelchair, they probably have other problems with the rest of their body. Do not light a cigarette. And yes, vapes count. Like don't be, just don't anything. It's just not smart and really, really damaging. Don't freak out when I take off my oxygen. Like this happens on a daily basis. This is actually one of the things that annoys the crap out of me. Like obviously if it, would t if it was gonna kill me to take off my oxygen, I wouldn't be taking it off. I know it's a crazy concept, but I take it off and everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. I'm like, excuse me? Are you my doctor? No, you're not. Stop. The most annoying thing ever is when you're coughing and someone's like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Can you breathe? Can you talk? And I'm like, eh, 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 eh. and I can't breathe because I'm coughing. So I can't tell the person that I'm okay. And then they freak their shit. And they're like, do you need me to call 911? And I'm like, eh, 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 wait one second. It happens all the time. So what do you do when you're around a CF who has a coughing attack? Well, for me and my friends, we have a code. If I pat my head, that means I'm not okay. If I don't pat my head, just go on talking. Just be chill. For people who don't have an illness, coughing the way that I cough is like, holy shit, she's about to cough up a lung kind of cough. But for me, it's regular. It's like a sneeze. Coughing is good for people who have CF. One of the things when I really get into a conversation with someone, and I'm really getting close to someone, they will always bring up the death conversation. They'll always be like, so what's the life expectancy? This is a more tender area. For me, I'm really, I've dealt with my shit around death and it doesn't freak me out to talk about it anymore. But for some people it is weird. Personal recommendation, don't bring that up. Um, unless you're very close with the person, unless you're really good friends with them, that is kind of a weird thing when you're dealing with an illness. And also, if it's not genetic, if it's not something they've always lived with, it may be very new in their mind. A good way to put it is where are you in your treatment? Like, where are you in your, um, I mean, we call it the treatment, but it's like, where are you in your healing process, you could say, if you will. Is it looking good for you? Are you feeling like you're confident with your treatments and all that? That's a nicer way to put it, and it doesn't make you feel so like, oh yeah, I'm gonna die in a few years. Everyone's always surprised that we go to school too and like live normal human lives. Like don't, just when you're, when you're talking to someone who has a disability or has an illness, expect that they live lives like yours. There's gonna be extra stuff that they deal with that you don't have to deal with. Or like that we're happy. I do get happy about things and that shouldn't be a big deal. Like expect that people who live with an illness are gonna be happy about stuff too. It's not like we walk around like dogs with our tails in between our legs all the time. We're, we're human beings and we have just as much fun and lifely experiences as everyone else.
everyone always wants to carry my stuff. Like, it's fine, I can carry a backpack, it's cool. But everyone's always like, can I, can I help carry your things? It's like, just, I want to feel a little bit strong. Or walking up the stairs, people always ask if they can carry me upstairs. I'm like, that's a little weird. I met you five minutes ago.